Here is how tax would be calculated for a typical income earner. Firstly, all of your income is added together. This could include your salary income, any commission that you earn, bonuses you get once a year, rental income from property, and interest that you earn from an investment or a savings account at a bank, and so on. Some of your income is exempt from being taxed, so that income is removed before the tax is calculated. An example of this exempt income is the first portion of the interest that you earn. Next, you may qualify for certain deductions. Those are also removed before the tax is calculated. Examples of deductions are contributions that you make to retirement funds, such as pension funds and retirement annuities, and qualifying medical expenses. Once all of these exemptions and deductions have been removed, you are left with the income that will be used to calculate your tax. The sliding scales on the tax tables are applied to this remaining income, and the tax is calculated. After the tax has been calculated, you will be given a rebate. It's like a discount, where the tax that you pay is reduced. Once you turn 65, you'll be given a second rebate, and you'll also get a third when you turn 75. If you contribute to a medical aid, you'll also be given a further rebate in the form of tax credits, which will now be deducted from the tax that you pay. The net effect of these rebates is that there's an income threshold below which you do not pay tax. Once you turn 65, the income threshold below which you pay no income tax is raised, and that income threshold is raised again when you turn 75. The reason for these thresholds is to reduce the income tax burden for low-income earners and senior citizens in the country. If your income is less than the tax thresholds that apply to you, you will pay no income tax for the year.